What is going on you guys, it's your boy Ferg here back at you again with another Clash Royale video and today it's something a little bit different. I asked on Twitter yesterday whether or not my subscribers would like to see a weekly series here on my channel where I cover the latest news and it got a majority vote of yes and I also asked would they like to see statements from pros, managers and basically anyone in the community that's relevant and everyone really wanted to see that as well. So. I guess this is going to be the first episode for on my channel where I cover the latest and greatest Clash Royale news. So this is going to be the first news episode of a new weekly series. Not too sure what I'll call it yet. I did ask that as well on Twitter, but nobody really had any good names for it. I was going to call it Fridays with Ferg, but since this is going up on a Saturday, I guess we can't really call it that. But if you have any good names, any name suggestions at all, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into our first news topic of today. Now first off, our first topic here is going to be Electrify's video. If you haven't seen Electrify's music video yet, it has grossed over 1 million views in just under a week. Personally, I think the video was absolutely amazingly produced and the song had really good and clean bars in it. Now like I said in the intro, I went to some YouTubers and asked them for their opinion and currently Clash with Ash and Eclipse have responded and they have said both equally the same, giving the opinion that the video was a banger and the music was absolutely incredible. Now seeing that this is the first ever well produced and high quality music video for Clash Royale and it did so well in the Clash Royale scene, I could see a lot more of them coming out in the future. Also Electrify has already confirmed that he is working on another one but I'm not too sure when that will be scheduled for. RPL and CMC got in an altercation yesterday about whether or not they were allowed to actually reschedule their match in RPL as CMC thought it was a bit biased that he couldn't reschedule the match of Team Repulse whereas Team Queso could reschedule an RPL match earlier in the season. Went on to present evidence that proved that Carlitos, the admin at the time, had been biased towards CMC and it basically started and hashtag that was hashtag RPL is over party that wasn't trending on Twitter but it was definitely trending in the Clash Royale community. Now if you want to see all of the tweets about this kind of story I will make sure to leave them in the description down below along with the timestamp for every single story in today's video. But along with those tweets I do have some statements here from many managers and some pros in the community so I'm going to go ahead and put them up on the screen now and talk you guys through them. First off, we do have Music Master here and he said that both sides were in the wrong. RPL and Chizen have had gripes with CMC in the past, basically meaning that RPL and CMC have a pretty, pretty unbalanced relationship. However, Music Master did say that this could have been avoided if Carlitos had been more clear in his reply to CMC. As Carlitos proceeded to call CMC stupid and also called him not a pro, when in fact CMC is one of the most established pros in the English speaking community. After reading the long paragraph that Music Master actually sent me, as you guys can see on screen right now, his basic opinion was that both parties were in the wrong, however Carlitos did fall into blame here as he did spiral the argument out of control. As it stands right now, CMC has been banned from all further RPL events leagues and seasons until he gives an apology, which personally I don't feel is necessary seeing that Carlitos was basically in the wrong here, but let's go ahead and get a manager's opinion and an admin's opinion of this matter. Now coming in from another RPL admin called Piri Pick, he said, I think Carlitos should have been punished for, for what he said to CMC, however as an RPL admin himself he understands that under pressure RPL admins can act out of the ordinary and act under pressure not accordingly. Also going on to say that the league is not a joke and people participating in the league should act accordingly. On Twitter, one of the main managers of Sandstorm known as Huda said, I think it is equally important to recognize both perspectives. Both have their points, but at this point, it does not matter who is right or wrong. At the end of the day, all it does is hurt the Clash Royale community, which I think is a great point as the more we fight, the less chance more esports organizations come in and actually sponsor players and give them a pedestal to stand on in terms of esports and money-making capabilities within Clash Royale. Hudat then went to say on, we don't have many leagues in Clash Royale, so to try and destroy one is definitely not going to work out in our favor. At the time of recording this video, Chizen did release a statement saying that he screwed up, he is very sorry, however this statement is very long and I will leave it in the description for anyone who wants to check out that statement and check what Chizen said at this time. I also have an opinion here from a YouTuber known as Wonderbad who has over 47,000 subscribers on YouTube and he thinks that the whole thing got blown out way out of proportion 
and he thinks that the perma ban was a little bit lengthy and maybe a temporary ban for CMC, possibly being one season ban or something like that, would have been much more adequate. However, he does think that them taking away Team Repulse's permanent ban is an absolutely great thing, and so do I. He also goes on to say that he thinks it stemmed from Carlitos' response to CMC, which I personally believe in myself, and he thinks that it could have been resolved easier if Carlitos had have kept his mouth a little bit less rude. Again, going on to agree with the opinion that I have about this situation. As it stands, CMC will no longer be participating in any RPL league se seasons or events, and he will not be apologising to the RPL admins or Chisholm in any way, shape or form right now. However, with the downfall of RPL, it could be a nice little uprising for a new league that's starting in Clash Royale over the course of the next month, and it is going to be organised by Alvi. It is called League of Elites. I will give you more information on that soon as soon as I find any information about that. Speaking on the topic of leagues, cups and events, there will also be a Pass to Pro League sponsored by Plex Chat, Nova, Team Queso and Tribe Gaming. This is basically a league that allows any kind of players, no matter if you're a pro or just a pleb of the game, to come out and give your best in a league. If you guys are interested in that, I will leave some information about it in the description below. Make sure to go check it out if you think you've got what it takes to become a pro player in Clash Royale. So it seems like Alvi is making a spotlight in the news twice this week with being signed to the new esports organization Mad Lions. New in terms of Clash Royale that is, they feature a pro team list of Trainer Chris, Pedro15, Innerlol, Alvi, Akrap and head coach Tatan. Personally I feel like this lineup is pretty damn stacked and I will be hoping to see some great plays by them in the future. Also I'd like to say a massive congratulations on Eclipse actually receiving his 1 million subscriber plaque. It's been a long time coming buddy, congrats to you. Alright that's all for the news this week on the Clash Royale scene. If you guys did go on to enjoy the first episode of whatever I'm going to call this, make sure to leave a like down below and if you have any news in the upcoming week, tweet at me or email the email that I've provided in the description below. If you have any opinions of this or if I see an opinion that I feel is relevant, I will make sure to pin it at the top of my comment section and you guys can go ahead and have a debate or an argument on what you think was the right or wrong outcome for any one of these stories or what you think about Electrify's video or anything like that. Hope you enjoyed the first ever news on Clash Royale on my channel. Without further ado, let's roll the outro.